Hello, beautiful souls. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a beautiful start to your week. I am so happy to be here with all of you, really kicking off this week with a reading video. So I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the energy oracle cards to pull forth a message for you today. If you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, be sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel. By liking and subscribing, this allows me to channel more easily for you and your current situation. I got a name with an SH and also the name Hannah for someone listening, but do keep in mind whenever I channel specific names, details, etc. These are just meant for certain individuals, so don't worry if these details don't resonate with you personally. I'm hearing the word love, so I feel that I'm channeling some kind of a love situation. I'm getting Virgo energy from someone as well here. And we have the Blossoming Abundance card sitting on the third eye. Because the third eye is connected with intuition, with our spiritual senses, I'm getting the message that someone I'm tuning into here is seeing through their third eye a lot of spiritual potential with a particular person in love. And yet in the physical world, this connection seems really ungrounded. So what kind of spiritual potential is there with this person? Wow, we have the crown chakra in the upright position. This is one of the most spiritual cards in this deck. So what I'm picking up on about this love connection is that it is a highly spiritual connection. And not only that, but I keep hearing awakening. So I feel that you and this person may have woke each other up spiritually. I'm hearing from the matrix, of course, that we refer to when we talk about this 3D physical world and all of its limiting belief systems and paradigms, I feel that this may be a person that you met when you were less spiritually awake or they were less spiritually awake. Although I'm really getting it from both of you, I feel that when you met, it's almost like you were both entirely different people, but really it's just that you each were putting on this kind of mask that we call a personality in this physical 3D world that may have been built on limiting belief systems on these societal paradigms that were implanted into your mind and you came into each other's lives and woke each other up to your true spiritual nature, to your true spiritual selves. However, I'm also getting you woke each other up, but one of you since then has been awakening much faster than the other. I feel that instantaneously your connection brought each other a sense of peace with hostilities reversed it's as though you immediately felt safe and comfortable with this person comfortable to let down your guard to take off that mask because that mask of personality wasn't and isn't who this person is connecting with they are connecting with your true core soul essence that is really underlying that persona I feel that you brought this person a lot of peace as well. And there's this sense of, I've been looking for something like this my whole life, and now I'm no longer looking because I've found it. It's as though both of you were restless your entire lives, kind of reaching out for the other without consciously knowing that the other existed. And with the world card upright, through this connection, both of you have been rapidly expanding at a spiritual level, really evolving. I'm getting that you and this person may have been connecting for some period of time. So for some I'm picking up on in this particular reading, 
this may have been years that you've been connecting or interacting with this person i'm hearing off and on so for some of you this could feel like a kind of off and on connection over the years what else can i channel i'm feeling something coming through from the lover's oracle so i felt guided to pull this deck today and we're going to find out why because I feel there's some kind of strong message for you today from this particular deck. So what can I channel for the group of souls resonating with this particular reading? I'm getting the number 333, which is also a number of the Ascended Masters. So this tells me that both you and this person have very ancient souls and you've lived many lifetimes together. From the Lover's Oracle, we have the card, Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. I feel that at certain points in time, and I feel this has gone back and forth, like one of you would try to do this, and then the other one of you would try to do this, each of you at different times throughout your connection in this life to each other, may have tried to somehow control the timing, the outcome, the circumstances. My guides keep telling me one of you may have tried to possess the other in some sense, like to make this look like a traditional 3D relationship, to define it, to derive some sense of security from this situation but something about your connection has always defied being claimed defied being defined in a traditional 3d way and this is because it's here to teach you true unconditional love to teach you as this card says that love doesn't claim it simply allows and gives and particularly on the side of the masculine here I feel that the masculine in this situation has been taught to open his heart through this connection. Deep within himself, he has a very pure and generous spirit, but he's also extremely guarded because of wounding in this lifetime. And because of this wounding, he closes off his heart, closes off his highly emotional self and can actually come off as the opposite, can come off as cold or as distant. But I'm getting that creating this distance has caused a lot of pain for this masculine because deep down, all he desires is to be close to the feminine here. And so... Through the pain he's experienced by causing this distance, he is actually learning how to fully open his heart. Now, my guides are telling me it has been a bit of a slow process. I'm picking up that the masculine here is actually the one who's been awakening slower than the feminine in this situation. But I do feel that a breakthrough is coming as I was meditating for this reading, I kept hearing reunion timeline, like you and this person are being aligned with a reunion timeline, whereas things may have gotten really off track for the two of you in the past. And we have the card, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. So I just feel like some major breakthrough or blessing or positive change is in store between you in this connection. But I feel that this positive change hinges upon, in part, the feminine here, realizing her true worthiness of love and really staying connected with that self-loving energy. Because this card also says, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart desires. And I feel that just as the masculine may have closed his heart chakra because of wounding energetically in this lifetime, the feminine here may have had a weak solar plexus energy, meaning she may have had a weak sense of self-confidence or really struggled with self-doubt in the past, not having strong boundaries with others. For some reason, I'm getting something around food and eating, and I'm hearing the name Catherine for someone as well, but I'm picking up that for someone listening, food and eating and body image may have been a struggle for you. You may have really struggled to love yourself completely, to really 
to really nourish yourself in the ways that you deserve and to see yourself as beautiful and worthy of love. Now, I'm not speaking to everyone here, but I feel that if this is something you've struggled with in the past, Divine Feminine, this is actually something that's been healing in a powerful way within you. I feel that you've gone through an upgrade recently where you found yourself feeling a lot more physically self-confident, feeling a lot more self-loving of your body, healing a lot of these things. That by the way, whoever I'm speaking to here, you aren't just healing these trends for your individual self. This is something you're healing strongly through your maternal line as well. So you might look back through your family's line and see that your mother, your grandmother, even your great grandmother struggled with these same issues around self-worth, potentially even specifically around their body, food, eating, self-nourishment, physical self-love. And I'm hearing you're carrying a heavy burden or you've been carrying a heavy burden because you came to this planet as an ancient, powerful soul taking on these very, very dense and heavy patterns and dynamics to heal them for your maternal line, especially around self-love and body image. I keep getting that for someone. And because when I say that these patterns are heavy or dense, what I mean by that is they've built up a lot of momentum because they've been carried through generation after generation as these kind of deeply subconscious but highly limiting belief patterns. And you are the one in your family and especially in your maternal line really stepping into your power. But I also feel... I'm hearing that you've been presented with choices when it comes to this love situation. And maybe as you've been expanding divine feminine, as you've been awakening faster than this masculine you are connected with, which could be a divine masculine, I'm getting this very well could be a twin flame situation for many of you listening, but I will let you know if that specifically comes up in the cards. Although at the end of the day, only you can know for sure what kind of soul connection you're dealing with. If you would like more information on cross comparing the different types of soul connections, I do have information on that in my one of my most recent posts on Instagram. So you can follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself for more information on that. I feel that the choice here or the choices that you've been presented with recently regarding this masculine, regarding this situation, may be whether to leave him behind fully or whether to continue pursuing this connection. And maybe you've debated back and forth in your mind, you felt yourself kind of inwardly pushing and pulling and perhaps you've even felt this pushing and pulling happening through your heart chakra i'm getting that you may have even had physical symptoms through your heart chakra as there's been this energetic pushing and pulling effect within you as part of you is feeling the momentum of lifetimes that you have with this other soul that you're so spiritually connected to that woke you up spiritually in this life just as you woke him up. And yet you're also feeling this push into your own continuous expansion into total self-love, into your highest evolution of self, which at times seems to require you to distance yourself in the physical from this particular divine masculine. And I feel that through this conscious struggle with these decisions or choices, your guides have been trying to lead you into something deeper. And the deeper realization here comes with the broken heart card reversed. And also the card from the lover's oracle that says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So the first message that I feel your guides trying to get through to you here about these choices or decisions is that there's no right or wrong answer here. 
except that it really seems like the most aligned path for you is to continue choosing your own expansion into total self-love, whatever that looks like for you. And of course, only you can know what this is. Maybe this is creating distance with this masculine in your life, setting boundaries, opening to different love opportunities, or maybe this is continuing to heal this connection. And maybe that choice even changes over time. And I feel your guide saying, leave room for these changes. Allow yourself to figure this out over time, just following your intuition in the moment because we have the broken heart card reversed. And what I see is that on a grander scale here, you and this divine masculine are healing your heart chakras through each other, opening your hearts through each other, regardless of how much you are 3D interacting or how much 3D distance is between the two of you because those changes, those activations, that heart opening is always going to be happening at a deep energetic level. The number 999 might be connected with someone also. And we have the card portal from the Starseed Oracle. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. I feel that this moment in time is some kind of a portal to a quantum leap in your life. And maybe you felt this profound momentum recently, energetically, and you've had this deeper awareness that your life is being massively upgraded. I feel this manifesting itself at a level that appears to be highly personal and highly individual. So this could be in your work, your career. I'm hearing aligning with your soul's highest path in work, career, or finances. So that might be relevant for some of you. But I'm getting that even if these upgrades look highly independent, they are actually also interconnected with how you and this other counterpart soul are spiritually healing and activating each other. Just as you awoke each other spiritually when you met, you are continuing to activate each other even if it's at a distance. And I have to tell you that we just got the man holding a coin and the community card in the upright position. So what I'm seeing is if there is a distance between the two of you, that the masculine in this situation is in the process of catching up, so to speak, to your divine feminine awakening and expansion because we have man holding a coin upright, which really speaks to a masculine slowly, gradually, but steadily rising into his power, awakening, healing. And we also have community, which speaks to physical connection, interaction, and I keep hearing reaching out. So the breakthrough that could be coming is this masculine could be reaching out with some kind of positive communication or interaction if you have been separated for a while. I'm also hearing signs of healing. So you might be presented with some kind of sign that is very obvious, very in your face in the near future that this masculine is really doing his healing work. So keep your eyes open for those signs as well. But I do want to close this reading with one final roomy oracle card message. While I'm shuffling to pull your message, I also want to share with you my favorite tool for manifesting, for energy clearing, for shifting, molding, directing energy. And these are subliminals. So subliminals are audio meditation tracks that contain unconscious affirmations that are designed to bypass the filter of the conscious mind. And in doing so, they are actually extremely powerful because what the conscious mind can't hear, it can't reject. So the affirmations embedded in subliminals are capable of deeply shifting the subconscious mind, which is actually the powerhouse of our entire mind and our entire energetic field. 
This is like the back door, the fast track to manifestation, because when we shift something through those deeper levels of our subconscious mind, that is when we begin to take what appears to be quantum leaps in our lives because we're rewriting those deep unconscious patterns within ourselves. So because I'm so passionate about subliminals, I've created over 100 of them through my website soundandsoulful.com as you can see on the screen on this website i've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so i have subliminals for physical appearance changes for mood shifts like confidence happiness anxiety relief for love and relationships for energy clearing for twin flames and for so much more and when you sign up for a free trial account on my site you can access any of these subliminals in multiple different background sound options and you can also create your own custom private playlists so i will be leaving a link to my love magnetism subliminal meditation in the pinned comment and description box under this video this is a super powerful subliminal designed to entirely reprogram your mind and magnetize your being to attract love positive experiences and positive interactions in your life. This can be used to manifest deeper connection with a particular romantic person in your life, but it can equally be used to generally attract more love and positive energy. So again, the link to that love magnetism subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under the video, and you can try it out free by signing up for a free trial account on my site. So let's pull one final message to close this reading. And from the Rumi Oracle, we have Sacred Phoenix Heart. And right away, I feel something rising from the ashes. This could be your connection with this person being brought back to life, being infused with new life, being realigned with this reunion timeline after a period of time where you may have appeared to be very separate. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the guidebook here. Under the cover of blood, love veils many rose gardens. In total faith, love tenderly guides every lover to the garden of the heart. Reason says the world is limited in six directions. There is no way out. Love says there is a way, and I have traveled it many times. Rumi so i hope a message from this reading resonated with you today if so feel free to leave me a comment under the video let me know what connected also i do invite you to subscribe to our channel join our beautiful community of like-minded conscious creative beings here on youtube you can follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. The link to the Love Magnetism Subliminal Meditation is under the video. Otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful, magical rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next video.